Okay, so this time we're we're still factoring um, leading coefficient um, will be one um, of the trinomial, but this time though um, the GCF of all of the terms will be something other than one. Okay, so let's see what to do when we have that situation. So again, the directions will say factor, uh, mainly factor completely. Um, so let's look at, let me say factor completely. All right, so let's look at this example. Suppose we had 3x squared. Right, 3x squared plus 9x minus 30. All right, so 3x squared plus 9x minus 30. First thing you always want to do whenever you factor is look to see if, if there's a GCF other than 1 of all of the terms. So if you look at this, the GCF is 3 because 3 goes into 3, 3 goes into 9, and 3 goes into negative 30, and there's no other number other than 1 that, that will go into all these three numbers. So the GCF is 3. So once you find the GCF, just like in the previous section, you want to factor out that GCF. So you can say 3 times x squared. Remember, the, uh, think of the distributive property. 3 times x is x squared plus 3x. 3 times 3x is 9x minus 10. All right, so 3 times negative 10 is a negative 30. Okay, now what you want to do is this little part here, I'm going to rewrite. And what you want to do is what we did previously. So you want to factor this as a product of two binomials. Once you do that, that's now going to come here. Okay, you're going to transfer that here. Okay, so we can think of a product and sum again. So uh, first of all, um, FOIL. So x times x gives me x squared. So there's your f, your first term of each binomial. x times x is x squared. And let's go to the last. I want the product to be negative 10, and I want the sum of those two numbers, whatever whatever the, the two numbers are, I want the sum to be this middle term, to be this coefficient of the middle term, which is a positive 3. Okay, so for example, um, negative 10 times 1 is a negative 10, but when I add them up, when I add them up, when I add them up, I get a negative 9, but that's not what I wanted. So at some point, though, you'll be able to quickly do this very easily, more efficiently. Um, so let's look at 5 and, and a uh, negative 2. 5 times a negative 2 is a negative 10, and when I do add them up, I do get a positive 3, which is what I want. So those are two numbers that you're going to use. All right, so you're going to go here, and you're going to put in those two numbers. You're going to say plus 5, and then you're going to say minus 2. Okay? And, and remember, always, always double check. Always double check the middle term as well. So the outer and the inner gives you that middle term. So the outer is negative um, 2x, the inner is 5x, the inner is 5x, the outer is negative 2x, and when I add them up, I do get 3x. Okay, so that's gonna, so that those two binomials will go here. So the answer is gonna be 3 times these two binomials, x plus 5 times x minus 2. All right. Let's look at this example. All right, suppose this time I had um, 2x cubed minus 18x squared plus 40x. Right, so 2x cubed minus 18x squared plus 40x. All right, so this time the GCF, the GCF, is in terms of coefficients, the GCF is 2, and look at your variables, it's variable x in every term. So remember, we take the one with the smallest exponent, so the GCF would be 2x. So then you're going to factor out a 2x. When I factor out a 2x, I get 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. 2x times a negative 9x is a negative 18x squared. And then 2x times a positive 20 is a um, positive 40x. All right, now, see this, this trinomial? I'm going to bring it to the side. Always do that. Now, you, you could work on a neat, but, but just bring it to the side. It, it does help in terms of, of um, um, not things not being so cluttered. Okay, so I get x squared um, minus 9x plus 20. 
So x squared minus 9x plus 20. So again, you can do the two binomials. You want the product to be um, 20, positive 20. And you want the sum to be the coefficient of the middle term, which is negative 9. All right, so let's find two numbers whose product is 20 and whose sum is negative 9. All right, so um, you could say 10 times 2 is 20. But you know, just keep in mind, you know that that couldn't work because when you add two positive numbers, you're going to get a positive number. So you know that, that in order to get a sum that's negative, in order to get a sum that's negative, one of these numbers has to be negative, and the absolute value of that number has to be the larger one. Okay? So obviously you knew that that wouldn't work because that's a positive 12. So let's look at, at um, let's say, um, negative 5 times negative 4. All right, so negative 5 times negative 4 is a 20. And when I add them up, I do get a negative 9, which is what I wanted. Okay, so those two numbers, these two numbers are going to go in here. So I'm going to have x times x is x squared. The idea of FYL, so first times first is x squared. Now when you go to the last, when you go to the last for L, the FOIL, when you go to the last, those are the last terms. You're going to put a negative 5. And you put a negative 4. Negative 5 times negative 4 is 20. Now let's check the, the on the inner, because I want to check that negative 9x. So the outer is a negative 4x. The inner is a negative 5x. And when I add them up, I get a negative 9x. When I combine like terms, I get a negative 9x. So that's what you wanted. So then you're going to rewrite. Don't forget, you got to put down, bring down that 2x. So that's still part of the answer. That's your GCF. So now you're going to get 2x times these two binomials, um, x minus 5 times x minus 4. Okay, let's look at, at another one. Let's suppose we had um, this example. Suppose we had x cubed minus 2x squared minus 24x. So x cubed minus 2x squared minus 24x. So again, look for the GCF. The GCF here is x. That's the GCF is x. So we're going to factor out an x. Get x times x squared minus 2x minus 24. Now always check yourself. x times x squared is x cubed using distributive property. x times a negative 2x is negative 2x squared. x times a negative 24 is a negative 24x. All right, now I want to factor this trinomial right here. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. So I get x squared minus 24x minus, oops, sorry, minus 2x minus 24. Okay? So x squared minus 2x minus 24. All right, so remember I want, I want to rewrite this as two binomials. And then the idea of FOIL, so these two first terms, their product has to be x squared, so the only possibility is x times x. Now let's remember, if I want to find a product, I want to find the product that is going to be that is going to be negative 24, and whose sum is that middle coefficient, so negative 2. The sum has to be negative 2. Okay? So let's see if you think of all the possibilities. Uh, 12 times um, a negative 2. That product is negative 24, but the sum gives me 10. So that doesn't work. Um, 6 times a negative 4. 6 times a negative 4 is a negative 24. But the sum is a positive 2. I'm almost there. I want a negative 2. So that means all i got to do is just change the signs here. So in other words, instead of saying a positive 6 and negative 4, I'm going to say negative 6 and a positive 4. And then when I add them up, I do get a negative 2, which is what I wanted the sum to be. So these are the two numbers I'm going to use. So I'm going to put negative 6 here. So I'm going to get x minus 6. And then the positive 4 is going to go here. So I'm going to have x plus 4. So x minus 6 times x plus 4. That product, if I were to FOIL this out, that will give me this back. All right? So x times x, if you think about it, 
FYL, x times x is x squared, the last. Negative 6 times a positive 4 is negative 24. Now let's check the out and the inner. I need the outer and the inner to be this middle term. So the outer is a 4x, the inner is a negative 6x. I'm going to combine like terms. I do get negative 2x, which is what I wanted. So now my answer then is um, x times, and then these two binomials, x minus 6 times x plus 4. And that will be your answer um, for that problem. Okay, so that, that should be enough uh, examples for these.